Hey, welcome back. Um, I'm, as always, my name is Smith. I'm back with another Telltale game for you. This one is Wolf Among Us. Uh, I've heard great things about it. I've played maybe part of episode one back when it came out on 360, but I'm back at it again. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. This is episode one. This episode is entitled Faith. So I hope you enjoy it. And let's go ahead and get right into it. And hopefully you all enjoy it. Fable Town. Okay. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest Hell temperature tell game. three now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity, and it is muggy out there. The Wolf Among Us. Kingdom Hotel. He looks like he had a rough night. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Oh. Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I'll just step down here <laughs> just a second to see the kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break. Come on, he don't look human. Obviously. <laughs> no need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you mm. can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go <laughs> see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. Indeed. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Okay. Yeah. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna sure. stand there. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, Big B. New Book of Fables entry. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. <laughs> oh, really? I you talk to your... What do you call a female? I guess just a toad. Your toad daughter. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Okay. Yeah, so sound like she getting beat down up there. Some matches. Okay. What else we got? What's this? Take a look. Take a good look. No. Oh no. Hey, look at me. Get off of me.
God damn you! No. Ah. Oh, hey, hey. You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? Yeah, he kind of be. Fucking kill you. All right, everyone. Do. Oh. Yeah, he kind of be. What are you going to fucking do, huh? Get I'm... the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Yeah, you tell him. Don't let Woody talk to you like that. Ow. I like that. Oh no. Ow. Yo, really? Is that really necessary? Just calm down. Can we talk about this? Put the razor down. Your knee, his knee, his knee. Oh, he still want more? Yeah, he just would not calm down, will really. he? There you go. There you go. Ow! Yeah, they are squabbling. Look at him. Give him a left and a right and a left. Yo, he is still up. Yo, why this dude so yo, the axe, the custom axe? Yo, put that down. This is not Skyrim. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Alright. Ow. Uh, I didn't want it. Yo, he is still moving. Yo, big homie, stay down. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. Yeah, what he said. Put you on the ground. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, oh, shut up. Shit. You yeah. broke my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, you need to go. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. For what? I let you slap me around for a while. You're lucky I'm not charging extra. Look, this is just what? the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. <laughs> Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Indeed. What was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones. <laughs> yeah, he... in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Yeah, yeah, we're about to go around. Uh, ow. Alright, well. He's definitely going to feel that in the morning. This dude's got a terrible job. Uh, 
is he, Mike? Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. <laughs> well, at least you're not fucking dead. Yo, he is still up! This dude. How is he still up here? He went out the window. I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'll put you out of your misery. You fucking mongrel. You ignorant fuck. Go on out, Wolf. Uh oh. Yeah, she put an axe in the back of his head. Yo, how is this dude still moving, yo? This dude done went out the window. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting he ideas, man. Uh, he got an axe right. stuck in his head. I mean, your eyes? And the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be I'll tell you. Really? Let me help you. <laughs> yeah. He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Indeed he is, but yo. Yeah, he is still moving. Yo, Big B, chill out. You need a light. Okay. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. I could say all kind of mean, cruel things, but I'm just gonna skip that one. Hey, you like my ribbon? No. Beautiful. Thank you. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. So who are you? Things change, I guess. I guess. Yeah, where did he go? This dude is too big. Shit. Totally. <laughs> Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. How much was the OJ? A hundred. <laughs> Bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 
20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know? No. I live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. Look who's talking. That term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? What's up? Nah, don't kiss me. As everyone says you are. I don't know where them lips been. I'll see you around. Whoa. Deuces. He's the big bad wolf, so who is she? Foobard. All right. Hey, let's get it. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to Fable Town, ladies and gentlemen. Not luxury apartments. See you. Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just. <sighs> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty? Sleeping Beauty? I wasn't expecting anyone. I know, this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with a third degree? Damn it, I'm late. For a very important date. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and... It would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. 
I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. So Bella is stepping out on the beast. It's not what you might be thinking. Really? I'm thinking you're going out somewhere to get tossed up by some fairy tale character. <laughs> it's a Pinocchio. It's gonna put his nose in it and tell you lies. Till you scream for him to stop. All right, that's kind of nasty, but hey. Now this dude is knocked out. Let's just check the mail. Since I got any mail. Let's check and see anyway. Seventh day in a row. All right. What else we got? This dude is knocked out. Let's see what he got. Hey, you wink. Grumble. Probably for the best. Is that Grumble from um, Beowulf, maybe? Management, security, maintenance. I was trying to read that. Find out who's out here. Private, private. Screw it. So now we're at two. Guess the elevator it is. I don't know what floor I live on. Maybe second. I think it said 204 on the mailbox. I'm at two. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have God you dang it. Have you seen Beauty? Nah, duh. So, have you? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Yo, he's kind of big. I should have said I'm staying out of it. Why do I feel like because I like the beast, I might have to fight this dude later? Big beast have <laughs> big beast partner. Oh, there you go. Take the phone off the hook. Break the window. Oh god, it must be foul up in there, big beast. Yeah, you went out of a window, big homie, and landed on a car. Yeah, it's one a night. What you got to drink in there? Uh -oh. Damn it. You ain't even got no ice. What you got in here? Why do I even own this? Huff and puff. <laughs> I get it. Huff and puff. And he'll blow your house down. Bluebeard's file. This is Bluebeard. Never trusted this guy. Well, tell me who it is, so I don't trust him. Yo, that's probably old. I remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. You should probably throw that away, don't me. Turn on the fan, then. Should help. Right here. Yo, what is that? 
this big ass pig over here on the bed. I mean the couch. Hey, Colin, get up. Yeah, Colin ain't moving. Huh? Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So yeah. Thing remind me of Chloe. <laughs> Yeah, I would not want to sit in that chair. You need a new one. Got a smoke? Right. You gonna give this pig a smoke too? Really? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. <laughs> gotta stop. I mean, I guess it's people. He blew it down. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes? What? It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, hey, that's my bourbon. I needed a drink. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. <laughs> I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Indeed. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Yeah. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. Big bad wolf. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Nope. Not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. <laughs> no, but I've no. seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, I mean, maybe I haven't if met snow. wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, <laughs> enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this. Let me sleep. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Probably. Oh, 
Uh, he's got. Uh, he's gonna pick it up. Oh, that's nasty. I don't want that cup back. He can keep it. Throw it away. Throw it out the window. I don't care. I'm never drinking out that cup again. Really? Now who is this? I just literally closed my eyes for a second. Big B. Snow. Oh. Really? Snow. So that's snow, right? Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry what to. What you mean? Hi. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Alright. We will talk outside, Snow. What Hey, what happened? You knew this girl? Is kind of, sort of. She's not a Mundy, right? Who Why did you put? I don't know. I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl. A working girl. I don't, yes. I mean, I'm a working. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. You're a little slow, aren't you? Got something in her mouth, looks like, though. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. Yo, there's a head on the steps, though. Terrible. So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Indeed. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. It's just they left the head, yeah. What is oh, that's hella nasty. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Look at that eye. With some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Yeah, for you, Big B, probably. Definitely not a wolf. Strange cut. What did this to her? I don't even know. Something like that. I don't even know, Big Home. Sharp. Or something with magic attached to it. Great. Like what we need, a magic attack. 
a dark magic attack, I think. It would be like, like my name's Dank Nabbit. There's a blood trail over there, Big Home. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Yeah, you might want to cover that head up, though. No, you don't want no one um, what, walking what by and I see a head on the steps. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? I couldn't tell. Let's see what else we got. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Indeed. You know, if we had a security guard that was worth the crap, maybe he would have known something. Just some loose trash. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. What else we got? Nobody there. All right, what else we got over here, Big Homer? Right over here. Let's go past now. See what we got. Nothing. Alright. Go back and talk to Snow then. Hey, Snow. You alright? Yes. Thanks. No, there's a head on the porch. Time left. Porch is not okay. Soon. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her. You're right. Before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? I heard. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get yeah, they could just send me a... office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Yeah. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long Crane. as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs King to Cole. Wow. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but. It's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl who is Crane? and find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. I... Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Let me get a save point, though.
Yep, just wrap the head up in the cobra breath. All right, there we go. We got the save point there. All right, that's the first part of it there. Hopefully, you all have enjoyed it. Uh, definitely going to probably be doing more in this. Um, definitely let me know what you think about this one so far. If get the good feedback, and I will definitely do more. So um, let me know. So until next time, I'll see you later. Deuces.